Hello everyone, this is Data Pioneer and welcome to the Linux Unix Tech Channel. Uh, today I'm going to revisit uh, something I've already videoed uh, a while back, uh, and that is the Tiny Tiny RSS News Aggregator for the Raspberry Pi. I have a Raspberry Pi Model 3B Plus, and uh, I use it every day to get my mail. I wanted to revisit that and show you, take a look around at the revised version of Tiny Tiny RSS. And, um, I'm up on the Raspberry Pi Geek website right now at www.raspberrypigeek.com and it talks about the Tiny Tiny RSS news aggregator. It talks about how to install it in the Raspbian OS, uh, which is the default operating system for the Raspberry Pi Model 3B+. And it also talks about uh, installing the, not only the aggregator itself, the uh, operating, I mean the program or the application, but also setting up and creating that new database that's required for the Raspberry Pi Tiny Tiny RSS News Aggregator. All right, so um, without further ado, I want to get out and uh, show you the Raspberry Pi's Tiny Tiny RSS News Aggregator. Uh, and so let's get into it. Okay, so let's get into it here. Um, I'm up on my uh, web browser uh, out on my main PC. I'm going to click this uh, tab here and go out to Tiny Tiny RSS and bring it up. I'm already logged into it because I was logged into it previously, but this is it. Uh, the IP address is statically assigned to the Pi at 192.168.1.90 and then uh, forward slash TTRSS dash RSS is how I get to it. I could go ahead and log out and show you what the login looks like. Here's the login screen. So if I type in my username and Password's already preset. I'm going to go ahead and log in. It gets me back into it again. So here I am. Um, this is a neat little application because it brings all my news directly to me that I have set up with my RSS feeds. And if you're not familiar with RSS, that's called really simple syndication. That's what RSS stands for. Uh, it's a means whereby websites uh, push news feeds to uh, browsers and other applications. This is being one of them here. Uh, and it is the tiny tiny RSS news feed aggregator for the Raspberry Pi. Um, I don't have to do anything with the Raspberry Pi. I mean, it runs 24/7. Uh, the application itself is running 24/7, never shuts down. It's automatically updating this, and you can see I've, I haven't looked at it in a couple of days. I've got 410 articles here, uh, 27 fresh articles. So if I click on the fresh articles there, it shows me all the fresh articles here that I have. Um, and so it constantly is updating. I can, of course, remove these uh, and mark them as, as red so that they disappear. But for this the purposes of this uh, demonstration, I wanted to leave it up. Let me go down to here, and I have set up in my news feed here a couple of different uh, RSS feeds, which is the BBC News Home, uh, the NBC Meet the Press and Reuters US. Okay, for technology news, I have ARS Technica. All right, Technology NPR, and then The Verge as well. And then, in addition to that, I have uh, ZDNet Tech News uh, set up in my news aggregator. Also, so let's look at ARS Technica. Uh, here's one of the articles. Uh, well, let me go on down, find another one. Um, this one is, here's what to expect for U.S. winter weather after a cool October. Um, this particular aggregator uh, brings up, let me get rid of this. Um, this particular aggregator brings up the preview of uh, any images that it wants to display on the site. Uh, you can enlarge it here. Uh, and then it gives a brief synopsis of uh, that article, so you can read that for yourself here. Um, and then you can look at, read eight remaining paragraphs, and then any comments that might be available for you to look at as well on the article. So I can get to this article from on the web by either clicking that link, or I can come back up, and I can select this link and go out to the web, and I'm out on ARS Technica, where it uh, talks about the article itself, shows me the same preview image that I saw in the news link, uh, in the news aggregator, and then I can get more information here. Um, 
but this brings the article up for me, okay? And then I can scroll on down, look at other articles. Here's an article for Google bans micro-targeting and false claims in political ads, uh, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Um, I can go ahead and star the article if I want to. Um, then I can come up here to these links and I can select either starred, published, unread, mark as read, so I can mark this article as read, okay? Marked one article as read here. And so that when I come back in, it's not there anymore, it's been read. Um, I can set the score for the article. Uh, please enter a new score for the article here. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, but um, you can do it if you want, and then you can show as a feed. For adaptive here, you can show adaptive, all articles, starred, published, unread, or with notes, okay? I can select newest first, oldest first, by title or default. I can mark as read, older than one day, older than one week, older than two weeks, all right? And then I can subscribe to this feed, edit the feed, unsubscribe if I like, uh, toggle widescreen mode, toggle right, uh, night mode, keyboard shortcuts help, and log out. All right, so um, if I come back here, um, I can go down to the technology and PR, take a look at these articles as well. There's only one article there apparently. Yeah, one article. On The Verge, I've got 51 articles um, as well, so I can take a look at that. Vader Immortal is what a theme park film actually looks like, and it's great, uh, is the article here. Uh, Verge readers can save $370 on DJI Mavic 2 Pro ahead of Black Friday. Um, and then, you know, there are other articles I can, I can look at here as well. Um, it's a great little... Um, news aggregator uh, you can if I want to get rid of all the ARS Technica I can mark them all as red it says it's marked as red so I click OK and they disappear here and so they're no longer available to me all right same with this one the one article mark it is red as well uh, here with the verge I can take a look at these articles and um, let's just take a look at this particular one here um, this is from TheVerge.com, and here we go. So this is the article that I'm looking at as well. Okay, so um, great little uh, application. I highly recommend that you go up and uh, download it. Go up to the, I'll put a link out to this website here under the video so that you have it, uh, so that you can install it if you have a Raspberry Pi model 3B or 3 or 4. Okay, and um, take it, check it out for yourself. Uh, I like it. Uh, I like having all my news brought to me, um, you know, uh, as I want them brought to me right up front so I don't have to. Uh, here are two articles I starred, by the way, and so now it's only showing me my start articles. Okay, so um, I just like having all my news brought to me without me having to go out on the web and search for them. Um, all the relevant articles that I want to look at. What I don't want to look at, I don't need to look at. And so uh, this has been the uh, tiny, tiny RSS news aggregator for the Raspberry Pi Model 3 or Model 3B Plus, which is what I have. Uh, Data Pioneer, check it out. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And uh, give me a thumbs up on this if you like. And uh, check me out and hit that bell off to the right so you get uh, previewed uh, upload or notified every time I upload a video. So, Data Pioneer signing out. Take care. Bye bye.